I'm not sure there was any one thing in my childhood that made me think I could have an impact. It was a series of, you know, little events, and it was the way my parents raised me, um, particularly to do the right thing even when nobody was looking. It's sort of easy to do the right thing if people are watching you, right, because you don't want to look awful. But my father in particular helped me really understand that what matters is that you do the right thing all the time, even when nobody's looking. He defended the, uh, the poor. He grew up very poor during the Great Depression in the U.S. And he was treated badly because he was very poor. So he grew up with a very strong disregard for the wealthy who oppressed the poor. And that certainly sunk in somewhere. My oldest brother was born deaf. And there were a couple of neighborhood boys who were bullies and took particular joy in tormenting my brother because he couldn't, you know, hear them. And he, he, there was nothing wrong with his vocal cords. So he could make sounds, but they were very bizarre sounding because, of course, he didn't have any sense of what, you know, how sound was modulated in the hearing world. So they really liked torturing him, you know, by being mean and listening to the sounds he would make. And there were a couple of times that I'm three years younger than my brother Steve, that I tried to go after the bullies and beat them up. And they were quite a bit older. And, you know, I was so stupid or naive at the time, I actually thought if I caught them, I could beat them up. I would have been the one beat up. I think out of the combination of my dad and my mother always supporting what we all chose to do in life, and my father's very strong feeling that he didn't care what other people thought about his opinions, and I certainly have that. I don't care. If you don't agree with me, that's your business, but I don't care what you think about what I think and what I do. And I got that from dad, and then <clears throat> trying to defend my brother, I think, morphed into um, trying to defend others in grade school who wouldn't speak up. And that made me mad because they could speak. You know, why wouldn't they? And then Vietnam happened and I protested Vietnam and it just shattered my image of the mythology of great peaceful America. And it led me ultimately on the path to trying to stop US military intervention in Central America and then just overall um, wanting to try to mitigate the impact of war in one way or the other. And my belief that by removing weapon systems, by getting the public to talk about weapons and why we want to get rid of them is a contribution to peace.